squeak, 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 Hello there. Now that I'm done with being held in prison, it's time to make some quesadillas. Now the history of quesadillas is that they've got that cheese in them. Because quesadilla stands for cheese. And since quesadilla stands for cheese, first thing we're going to need is a cheese grater. Now the great thing about cheese graters is that you can grate cheese with them. They work really well for grating cheese. Mmm, that cheese grater looks mighty tasty. Now that tip do, I use a plate to store all the cheese on. So I'm gonna look in here. Ooh, all the mighty fine plates. I'm gonna grab this one. Now you got your cheese grater and you got your plate. So, what did the cheese grater do again? Hmm. Oh, it grates cheese. So let's get the cheese. Ooh, here's some mighty fine stuff in here, but all I need is this. Now, is the cheese all I need? I don't think so. I think I also need something else. And that is a tortilla. Now that we've got our tortillas, we can start cutting up the cheese. You have to make sure you got some tortillas before you start cutting up the cheese, cause you know, I've messed up before. Now that we've got that uh, over with and we checked that we have the tortilla, I'm gonna start graying the cheese right now. Look at that cheese. Uh, oh man, I like this cheese. I gotta unwrap it though. As you can see, it's my fine fucking cheese right here, man. Damn. Still though, how you grate it? Well, that's a question I'm gonna answer. So you gotta take your cheese grater and you gotta stick it on the plate. And then you have to take your cheese and just start slamming it down onto the metal. Make sure you don't get any plastic on there. Boom. See? Look, I'm just like sliding that shit on there. Sliding it downwards. So I can make some cheese and stuff. It's gonna be good. Just trust me. Now, you wanna look at how much cheese you're making. And a good way to do that is just to look inside there. See? That's a bit of cheese. But, it's not enough. So I need to grate a little bit more. I feel like grain this cheese a little bit more will give it the perfect amount. Boom boom. Oh yeah. Feels so good. Now, after you're done, you're gonna wanna wrap that cheese up. See, look, you can't just leave it like that. It's cheese. So, you gotta get the original wrapping, and then you just like put it around the cheese. Make sure it doesn't go rot. To give it some extra insurance, also get some plastic. Do some like a stretch type plastic will work. See, just wrap it up like that. Hmm. Oh, there's a see loop. There's a little hole open. Gotta fix that. See, just fixing up everything. Fixing up everything. Make sure that cheese is sealed tight. Now that I know I got enough cheese, I can just shake this off, brush off the inside. So I can get some, all the cheese off, you know? Now this right here is definitely enough cheese. So, I'm gonna start the cooking phase. Now the first thing you gotta do on the cooking phase is you gotta get your pan. My pans can be found right here. Now to avoid some confusion on the copyright side, this isn't Peter Pan. This is actually just a pan, you know, to cook with. Okay, Disney? Did you stop trying to sue me with this? Okay, now let's get to the cooking. Now for this one, I have an electric stove. So it's gonna be a little bit different. The first thing you gotta do is put the pan down. Now for this, uh, we don't need any grease on the pan, so we're just gonna put the tortillas straight on. So let me get them tortillas. Got our tortillas in the right spot, which is right here. You saw it. Now we're ready to cook. I'm just gonna turn the burner straight on. Like about maybe six, I would say. Far away, I'm gonna lay in a little secret about tortillas. So while you're cooking tortillas, it bubbles up a bit. 
So you go mine, just like get a fork or something, boom. And then just like press down and I'm just gonna use a fork to flip it. You can actually use your fingers if you want, but I just don't feel like burning the tips of my fingers at all right now. I'm just gonna put it straight on the burner. Boom. No preparation necessary. Just put it straight on there. We'll be fine. So now it's starting to heat up underneath. And it'll soon be ready to flip. Yeah, as you can see, it's still really soft. I'm still able to touch it. I hurt myself. See, what? see that's not very that's not very cooked right there. I'm just gonna wait a bit. Just continually check on it while you're waiting. Yeah, it's still about the same. It's not heating up too fast. As you can see, this is a bit of a weaker stove, but it's fine. So as you can see, those bubbles are getting mighty intensified. That means it's ready to flip over. Oh, see, look at that. You can see a glazed brown look on it. Oh, see, look, the whole thing's bubbling up. This is great. This is fucking great. This looks like this could be one good-ass quesadilla. Just saying. It's a little bit of time has passed. That's about ready. That's about ready to flip. Look at that. Look at that other side. See what's starting to get burnt on these parts. Okay. Flip it over. So since I'm hungry and I got enough cheese, I'm going to make another one. As you can see, this one's all nice and ready, but I'm going to wait until I get both of them done and start eating. As you can see, this one's going to heat up a bit faster than this last one I just made. It's going to be like the hottest fucking quesadilla you've ever seen. It's already starting to cook. It's already starting to bubble up a little bit. Exactly. Watch this. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This one heated up a lot faster because the pan's already ready. It was ready for it. Came and ambushed shit out of it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm just going to put the cheese on this side real quick. Just remember, always turn that burner off. If you could. So now I'm ready to do motherfucking quesadillas. Mm -mm. That's how you make a good old quesadilla. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Quesadilla. I hope you learned you some stuff and oh you have a great night and eat some quesadillas for dinner. Hans Hans.